Parable of the Sower is a novel written by Octavia E. Butler in 1993 and it takes place in our now very near future, the year 2024. So when we talk about what Octavia Butler's work, how it, how it lives within the literary canon, you know, the idea of the Afrofuturist movement, this idea of wanting to place black bodies in our speculative fiction, of looking at science fiction and looking at like the dystopian narratives and saying like, where is the black experience in this conversation? And Octavia really sort of breaking ground in making the invisible visible. This novel deals with a lot of issues that in the early 90s we maybe had a taste of but still felt almost impossible. The uh, erosion of our environment, takeover of government by um, corporations and uh, religious fanatics, humans just deciding not to participate um, in the uh, structure of, of running of their own country and a huge, a huge, huge amount of, of poor people without any systems to support them. Uh, Octavia Butler comes off as a prophet and this work I find is a great vehicle to have uh, a conversation about what people are going to do to change and correct these great wrongs in our communities. As you enter the theater, you actually enter a now community. The people that you're in the theater with are your people. The um, artists on the stage are your people. Um, we're all there together and we're all handling the issues and the information that come up through exploring this work. And uh, you, you participate and witness at the same time. Um, this is this story will be told uh, through music, through songs, um, using the narrative of the novel. Parable of the Sower is a story about the family that you're born into and the family that you make. And, um, and there's something about the act of making theater and the act of watching Toshi sort of forge this circle of singers into a single body that, you know, when she asks a singer to sing into her mouth or to sing into another person's mouth, and some of what she's asking this person to do is to give up their, their unique identity in service of the whole. And that idea of community seems to be such an essential lesson of this story, um, a lesson about how we move forward, of how we persevere, of how we survive. And not just survive, but thrive. This uh, character that Octavia um, created, Lauren Alamina, a 15-year-old girl who really understands that the way her community is, um, is, is, is working is not sustainable and that a drastic change has to happen in order to make uh, a world that's actually sustainable and livable and not to turn everybody into slaves, basically. Parable of the Sower is a, a great conversation to have right now. In this um, book, there is, there is no um, administrators of society, that everything becomes for profit. If you're living now, you are seeing some of these issues happen. And I can't think of a better way to bring people together, to open up um, dialogue, to support um, activism than a strong piece of theater. Um, and Parable of the Sower in particular looks at uh, a wide-ranging and diverse community, um, looks at the power of young thinkers and innovative thinkers, looks at the deconstruction of, of old models of, um, of society building in order to create something else um, that might be more helpful to humans and to an alive planet. Um, and so so it's a very important piece. Toshi's music is a profound act of forging community. And, um, and it's why I think that I can't imagine an artist better suited to telling this story in this moment, in this way. Don't let your baby go.